Hi, thanks for joining me in this video. This video will be discussing humanitarian and compassionate applications. This is reserved for clients who are physically in Canada and unfortunately really have no other means of submitting a PR application. They don't qualify for any of the other ways to immigrate to Canada. This application is reserved for those who are physically in Canada and really should be used as one of the last resorts of the application. And I'll tell you at the end why I believe this should be really your last resort. H&C applications are exactly that, humanitarian and compassionate, meaning you're reaching out to the officer to be compassionate towards your case. And so in order for the officer to be compassionate, you almost have to start from the beginning. How did you come to Canada to begin with? What application got you here? Most clients that I have started somewhere. They started with a visitor visa, they started with a study visa, they started with a work visa, but then things happened. Things happened that kind of changed their course towards PR. They weren't able to extend their visit. They weren't able to successfully get an, an additional study permit or a work permit, etc. And then they ended up being in this country with no legal status. And that's important that you disclose that to the officer, that I came with high hopes, I came to do this, 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 and this is when things went kind of south. In addition, what the officer is looking for is what have you done in the time that you've been in Canada? So not only were you when you were legal, but also where you ran out of status. What have you done to contribute to Canada? And that contribution doesn't have to be necessarily financial, even though that's a key component. You can definitely, in an agency application, inform the officer that in the last X amount of years, I've worked cash money jobs. This is something that an officer actually wants to see, that you're not just sitting there doing nothing, but everyone has to put food on the table. How are you putting food on the table? What type of jobs have you done? What type of skill sets have you acquired in this time? I know a lot of clients feel a little bit hesitant to disclose to the officer that they've worked jobs illegally. H and C applications will not get rejected because you've worked illegal in, in Canada. It's one of the components where that's why you're asking the officer to be compassionate. You're almost showing them the weaknesses of your case to say, listen, I don't have legal status. I've done X, Y, and Z jobs. And that's why I need you to be compassionate because I've built these skill sets and I need to be legal now. I can no longer continue in this, in this manner. The other things that the officers look for are community involvement. That's very important. Perhaps you, are part of a church and you attend church on a weekly basis. They also look at family ties. If you have immediate blood relatives, mention that in your application. How close are you with them? Obviously, the closer the bloodline, the higher the chances of that application getting approved. So for example, a wife, a child, etc. An uncle and an aunt might be, you might want to mention that, but it's still a little bit further from your bloodline. Nonetheless, mention it. Friends are good examples of mentioning them as well. How are you involved in this community? What do you do beyond just work? It's important that you explain that. The other thing that's also important with an agency application is this is your opportunity to, in your own words, describe the hardship you've endured. So write a personal statement from the beginning write it as many words as possible. A lot of times when I ask clients to write a personal statement, they give me a two or three liners. And I look at them and say, if you can explain your entire hardship in two or three lines, the officer's not gonna prove it. How can they possibly be compassionate towards your case with only two or three lines or a paragraph? Explain the difficulties that you have endured and will continue to endure if the officer doesn't approve your PR application. Lastly, you want to mention why you cannot go back home. And one of the key components here is the, the longer you're away from your home country, and the longer you've been in Canada, you can address that you've adapted to the Canadian culture and that you've been away from your home country for so long that it might not be as easily for you to make a life there again. So all of this put together can, can constitute an agency application. If you have any questions about this, feel free to call me. Thank you, until next time.